right, my friends, today for our math lesson, we're still focusing on place value, but I want to use quick tens and place value charts to help us understand it a little bit further. So on a piece of paper, I have made two empty place value charts. I have tens and ones columns for each of them. And then I'm going to leave some space down below to make my quick 10 drawings. If you want to follow along, you can grab your own paper and make your own place value charts as well. I'm going to start off by writing the number 62 in my first place value chart. So if I think of the number 62, how many ones does 62 have? It has two ones. How many tens does 62 have? It has six tens. Now let's draw 62 using our quick 10 method. So let's do tens first. I have six tens, so I'm going to make six straight lines. There's one, two, three, four, five, six tens, and now for ones. I have two ones, so I will make two little circles. I have just drawn 62 using my quick tens method. Please make sure in your quick 10 drawing that you're grouping fives together. So as you see here, I have five of my tens grouped together nicely, and then I separate the sixth one. That's gonna help me count it much faster. So anytime you're using quick tens, try and group them nice and neat like that in fives. Now I wanna use this method to find one more than 62. So I wanna know 62 plus one, what would that give me? I'm gonna add to my quick 10 drawing just to help me really see it. So I'm only adding one, so I'll add one little circle. Now what number do I have? Let's start by counting up the tens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six tens still. Now let's count our ones. One, two, three. Which place value changed? Which place value stayed the same? If you've said that our ones place changed, it went up one, and our tens place stayed the same, you are correct. So one more than 62 is 63. All right, let's try another one. Let's start with 62 again. So six tens and two ones. And let's draw that out again using our quick 10 method. Two, three, four, five, six, and then two ones. Now, instead of adding one, I want to add 10. So let's add 10 to our quick 10 drawing. I'm just going to add another straight line right here. Now let's count up our 10s in our new drawing. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now how many ones do I have? One, two. Which place value stayed the same? Which place value changed? If you said that the ones place stayed the same 
and the tens place increased by one, you are correct. So 10 more than 62 is 72. And let's do just one more. So once again, let's start with the number 62. Six tens and two ones. I'm gonna draw that out again using my quick 10 method. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two ones. Now this time, instead of adding 10 or one, I'm gonna take away 10. So instead of plus 10, minus 10. And now I'll fix my drawing. I'm just gonna cross this 10 out. That one doesn't count anymore. Now let's count the tens that we still do have. One, two, three, four, five. Five tens and one, two ones. Which place value changed? Which one stayed the same? If you said that the tens place changed and the ones place stayed the same, you are correct. So during this problem set, take a look at what we're adding or taking away and think about how that affects the place value that changes. If we're adding or take away 10, it's going to be the tens place that changes. And if we're adding or taking away one, it'll be the ones place that changes. Lesson 5's problem set is on page 19 in our green math practice book. For number one, they want us to either draw or cross off some more base 10 blocks to show our work. Letter A says one more than 68. So it looks like we will be adding one. So I will add one small cube right here. Now let's count up our tens first. One, two, three, four, five, six tens still. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. So one more than 68 is 69. Let's take a look at letter B. 10 more than 68 is blank. So in this case, what are we adding? We are going to add 10. So draw another 10 stick. And now let's count up the tens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. So 10 more than 68 is 78. Letter C is asking us what is 10 less than 71? What do you think I will do in this case? I'm going to be taking away 10. So I'll just cross out one of these 10 sticks. Now let's count how many 10s we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six 10s. And how many ones do I have left? Just one. So 10 less than 71 is 61. Moving on to letter D. One less than 70. 
Hmm, what would I be doing in this case? Adding, taking away. I will be taking away one. Now this one is a little tricky. I don't see any ones floating around by themselves as it is. So I need to break up one of these tens. If I take one away from 10, what will I have? If you said nine, you are correct. So I'm just gonna cross out this quick 10 so I don't confuse myself and draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. So I've crossed out my 10 and drawn nine ones. So now I have one less. Let's count my tens first to see how many I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six tens. And how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. So one less than 70 is 69. Moving on to number two. I have to find the mystery numbers. And this time we are not using quick 10 drawings. We are only using the arrow way. So let's try it. Letter A says 10 more than 59 is blank. Well, let's try it. I see 59 in the place value chart here. And we drew an arrow already, said plus 110. That's just another way to say add 10. So let's take this number in the tens place up one. Instead of five, now I have six tens. And my ones place should stay the same. So 10 more than 59 is 69. Let's try letter B now. One less than 59 is blank. So let's write 59 in our place value chart first. How many ones does 59 have? It has nine ones. How many tens does 59 have? It has five tens. Now we need to draw our arrow and say what we're adding or taking away. One less. So what operation would I be using? One less is the same as taking away one or minus one. So that means my tens place has to stay the same. And now we can take one away from my ones place. What is nine take away one? It should be eight. So one less than 59 is 58. Now let's try letter C. One more than 59 is blank. So once again, let's start with 59 in our place value chart. How many tens and ones does 59 have? If you said five tens and nine ones, you are correct. Now let's draw our arrow. And if I'm trying to find one more, what is my operation going to be? Am I going to add or subtract? And how many am I adding or subtracting? 
If you said plus one, you are correct. So my tens place has to be staying the same. Now let's try adding one to our ones place. Nine plus one. Hmm, what would that give me? That would give me 10, right? So I have to do something special. I can't write 10 over here, right? That wouldn't make sense. Five tens and 10 ones. Instead, I need to regroup. So I'm gonna take these 10 ones and move them over to my tens place. So let's add one to our tens place. Instead of five, now I have six tens. And there are no ones left over. No ones outside of that 10 bunch we just made. So in this case only, adding one will actually be adding a 10. So one more than 59 is 60. Now let's try letter D. 10 less than 59 is blank. So once again, let's write 59 in our place value chart. How many ones does it have? How many tens does it have? If you said nine ones and five tens, you are correct. Now let's draw our arrow. And if I'm trying to find 10 less, what will my operation be? What am I adding or taking away? If you said minus 10 or take away 10, you are correct. So that means that our ones place will stay the same. And now we will take one away from our tens place. What is 10 minus one? I'm sorry, five minus one, not 10 minus one, five minus one. If you said four, you are correct. So now we have 10 less than 59 is 49. All right, moving on to page 20. Now for each of these boxes, we have to write the number that is either one more, 10 more, one less, or 10 less for all of those in the column. So let's start with number three. They wanna know what is one more than all of these. So let's get started. What is one more than 10? If you said 11, you are correct. What is one more than 70? If you said 71, you are correct. What is one more than 76? If you said 77, you are correct. What is one more than 79? Careful with this one. This is that special case again, where even though we're just adding one more, it completes a 10. So one more than 79 is 80. How about one more than 99? Same thing here, right? We're completing that 10 if I add one more to 99. So now I'm gonna bring the tens place up one. And this one is extra special because there is a nine in my tens place. So one more than 99 is actually 100. Moving on to number four. I need to know what is 10 more than each of these numbers. 
Letter A says 10. What is 10 more than 10? If you guessed 20, you are correct. What is 10 more than 60? If you said 70, you are correct. What is 10 more than 61? If you said 71, you are correct. What is 10 more than 78? If you said 88, you are correct. And last but not least, what is 10 more than 90? Once again, this is one of those special cases. If I add another 10 to the nine in the tens place, you just have to bring it over to the next place value. So 10 more than 90 is 100. Now number five is asking us to write the number that is one less than all these numbers. So what is one less than 12? If you said 11, you are correct. Now what is one less than 52? If you said 51, you are correct. What is one less than 51? If you said 50, you are correct. What is one less than 80? This one is an interesting case too. This is when we'll be breaking up a 10 and taking one away. So if I were to do that to the number 80, what would I get? One less than 80. If you said 79, you are correct. What is one less than 100? Once again, this is one of those special cases where we would take one of the tens and break it apart and take one away. So what is one less than 100? If you said 99, you are correct. Now for number six, we need to write the number that is 10 less. So letter A says 20. What is 10 less than 20? You said 10, you are correct. Now what is 10 less than 60? If you guessed 50, you are correct. What is 10 less than 74? If you said 64, you are correct. What is 10 less than 81? If you said 71, you are correct. And now for letter E, what is 10 less than 100? If you said 90, you are correct. Now for number seven, we need to fill in all of the missing numbers in each sequence. So sometimes we may be adding one 
or taking away one. Sometimes we might be adding 10 or taking away 10. So we need to figure out the pattern and fill in the blank number. Let's take a look at letter A. 40, 41, 42, blank. It looks like we're adding how many each time? Adding one, right? So what would be one more than 42? If you said 43, you are correct. Now let's take a look at letter B. 89, 88, 87. Hmm, what's the pattern here? What am I adding or taking away each time? It looks like I'm taking away one, right? So what would be one less than 87? If you said 86, you are correct. Now let's take a look at letter C. 72, 71, blank, 69. What does it look like we're adding or taking away each time? If you said taking away one, you're correct. So what number would be one less than 71? If you said 70, you are correct. Now for letter D, we have 63 blank, 65, 66. What does it look like we're adding each time or subtracting each time? Well, from 65 to 66, we're adding one. So let's do the same thing from 63 to this blank spot. What is one more than 63? If you said 64, you are correct. Now letter E, we have 40, 50, 60, blank. What does it look like we're doing here? It looks like we are adding 10 each time. So what would be 10 more than 60? If you said 70, you are correct. Now for letter F, 80, 70, 60, blank. What does it look like we're doing here? It looks like we're subtracting 10. So if I had to take 10 away from 60, what would I get? If you said 50, you are correct. Now for letter G, 55, 65, blank, 85. What are we adding or taking away in this case? It looks like we are adding 10. So what is 10 more than 65? If you said 75, you are correct. Now for letter H, 99, 89, blank, 69. What are we doing in this pattern? It looks like we're taking away 10. So what is 10 less than 89? If you said 79, you are correct. Now for letter I, blank, 
What does it look like we're doing in this pattern? It looks like we're taking away one. And the first one in the pattern is missing, so I've got to work backwards. So I'm going to start adding one, right? If I add one to 97, I get 98. If I add one to 98, I get 99. Now what if I add one to 99? What would I get? If you said 100, you are correct. And last but not least, let's do letter J. Blank 77, blank 57. Ooh, tricky one. We're missing two numbers in our pattern. But I see that the ones place in both of these numbers is the same. So we must be changing only the tens place. And I see seven in the tens place here and five in the tens place here. Hmm, what would be right between those two numbers, seven and five? Six, right? So I'll have six in my tens place and my ones place will stay the same. So 77, 67, 57. Awesome, now I can tell I'm taking away 10. Ooh, but I'm missing the first number in my pattern, so we're gonna work backwards actually. So I'm adding 10 from 57 to 67. Add another 10 to 67, I get 77. Let's add another 10. What is 10 more than 77? If you said 87, you are correct. So if you need more practice with this, you can work on Lesson 5's homework, pages 21 and 22.